Thanks for joining us again here. You can see Jackie and Kevin's house is almost done and they're gonna be installing solar panels on the roof after the entire house is complete. So I wanted to learn more about how these solar panels are gonna help because their house is already pretty energy efficient. Scott, thanks for joining me. Scott is a coworker of mine. I brought him out of the office to come and talk to me about solar panels. So their house is already going to be really efficient. It is very efficient. Why bother with the solar panels? Yeah, well, we would always say, if you're thinking about solar, you should first get super efficient, right? That is the biggest bang for your buck. That's, you know, we like to say, the uh, cheapest kilowatt hour is the one you never use. So that is, this is the smartest thing you can do. The, you know, best return on your investment is gonna be being very efficient. But if you get to that point and you wanna keep going, solar is a great investment as well. And now you can, you know, produce your own uh, electricity. You get, you know, lower monthly bills. You get a lower carbon footprint. Uh, and it's really a long-term investment where, uh, you know, especially now with in the investment tax credits um, and incentives for focus on energy, it really helps to bring that cost down. And so yeah. it really is gonna sort of paying you back right away. You mentioned the focus on energy incentives. Uh, how, how much are they? Like, what, how does it work? Yeah, so it is, it's really simple. Um, your solar contractor uh, or installer will help you um, kind of navigate that. It's $500 incentive for uh, residential systems, um, more if you are in a rural area. Uh, and uh, yeah, we have a list of contractors on our website. If you go to the website and find a trade ally, we call our contractors that work in the program trade allies. Uh, you can find reputable companies, trusted companies in your area, you know, based on your zip code, uh, somebody that can get your job done. And so when it comes to installation, what are the most important things that I'm supposed to know? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because uh, I invited a solar contractor, Drew Solar, uh, to come talk about just that. All right. Yeah. All right. We're here on the sunny side of the house, um, and we've got Maria and Michael from Drew Solar. Uh, thank you guys for coming. Yeah. Um, maybe you could start by talking a little bit about the difference between new construction, like we've got here, and kind of like retrofitting or going out to you know existing construction with solar. Sure. Well, uh, for new construction, we start with a more of a blank slate. Um, the design hasn't been done yet, so we kind of like ask for you know the things that make a big difference. Um, so we look at roof pitch, roof orientation, um, to make sure they're um, set right um, for solar panels. And then we look at the electrical system, and we get to spec everything out. Where with um, an existing home, we have to work with what is there. So we walk up; we can't really change the Orientator, orientation or the roof pitch. Um, so we need to look at those things. And a lot of times with older houses, there's shade and an old electrical system and maybe an old structure. So we have to work with what we have. And yeah, Scott, our builder knew that we were thinking solar, we told them. So we worked with them to make sure that the pitch of our roof was um, optimizing the solar gain. We also reoriented the roof to face out to get nice. optimized solar gain. Uh, we also worked with them to make sure there wouldn't be any vents on the roof where the panels would go. And then they also worked with us to put a uh, conduit, solar conduit, where we would want it. So Jacqueline, how did you know what size of a system to put on the house? That's a good question. We worked with the building performance consultant, so that was Joe. Um, and he provided us an energy model that showed us the annual estimated energy usage of our house. So we used that, we sent it to Drew's and did a few iterations to figure out what we wanted to land on. And we landed on a 93% uh, offset. Yeah, so basically when we have new construction homes like this, for most people it's a little bit of a guessing game. But Jacqueline, you were uh, ahead of the ball. You work with Focus on Energy to come up with a great estimate of how much electricity you're going to use in a given year. With homes that have been existing, we just look back at their old electricity use to get an idea of how much they're going to need their solar panels to produce for them every year. Jackie mentioned the only 93% offset, so why not go with 100%? Yeah, it kind of depends on the utility. So with some utilities, um, it's okay to offset a little bit more. With other utilities, you kind of want to stay under 100%. Um, and with Jacqueline's goals and other homeowners' goals, we kind of figure out what the right size with, is for them. But for Jacqueline, you know, we're just coming up with an estimate about how much they're going to use a year. We wanted to leave a little bit of wiggle room in case their solar produced even more than we were expecting, or they use a little less because they have such an efficient new home. Yeah. So Jackie, once the house is done, it will really be net zero? 
Yeah, so remember, we've opted to use electric appliances and systems in all of our house. So that makes it a little bit easier for us to achieve net zero energy because the electricity that the panels produce will offset all of the systems and appliances that we use it. Absolutely. And for a home like Jacqueline's, she has a little bit larger than average system because everything in her home is set up to be electric. So the solar panels are going to produce about what she needs for electricity every year. And it will go back and forth with the utility um, on a sunny, beautiful day like today. She's going to produce more than she needs and kind of bank those uh, kilowatt hours with the utility. And then cloudy days or winter days, she's going to take some of that back off. And by the end of the year, she'll be about net zero. So after all of the incentives from Focus on Energy and tax rebates, how much does solar installation cost? Yeah, great question. So I'd say for an average size home, they might need like 24 solar panels. And after all of those incentives and the Focus on Energy rebate, it might cost $13,000, $14,000, which is quite a bit less than I think a lot of people expect to go solar. Yeah, that's true. For a larger system, for a larger home, a home like Jacqueline's that's trying to um, offset a lot more electricity use because they're trying to go net zero, they might need something like 36, 40 panels. Um, and a 36 panel system might cost a little over $20,000 after all those rebates and incentives. So Jackie, how are you financing this whole thing? Huh. Great question. Uh, I'm going to say it was a little annoying to reach out to a variety of banks, trying to see if they offer loans on solar panel installations, which a few of them do. So we did land on something we're very happy with. Um, my only recommendation to new homeowners would be maybe start that process a little earlier so it's not as much of a scramble when you have a quote, you're ready to get things started. Um, the positive thing is this. Even though it's costing us a loan from the bank, it will pay off in eight to nine years, making it what I think a very feasible and financially smart investment. Yeah, that is really the best we see eight to nine years. It goes to show what a little pre-planning can do for you. Yeah, it ends up being, I think it's $225 per month, which is $2,700 annually. It's huge. That's a lot of savings, Jack. Thank you all for joining us out here. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you smash that like button, as Scott likes to say. Hit subscribe, and we'll see you the next time.